this is Sadia from WP Funnels. Do you sell digital products online and manage your orders on WooCommerce? Then this video is for you. Today I will show you how you can create a perfect sales funnel for digital products and increase your revenue significantly. Now first things first, what exactly is your product type? Your digital product can be downloadable such as ebook or it can be hosted online such as an online workshop. So your sales funnel will vary depending on your product type. So there can be four different scenarios. Your funnel can be a combination of a lead generation funnel and a sales funnel or it can just be a dedicated sales funnel with a landing page, checkout page and offer pages. Or if you want, you can run an email marketing funnel or you can set up post-purchase offers for your customers based on the category of products they have ordered in WooCommerce. Today, I will show you the digital product sales funnel that usually delivers the best results. It is a dedicated sales funnel for your digital product. This funnel will have a targeted landing page where you will promote your main product. The landing page copy and the design will be aligned to highlight this one product only. Next, you need a custom checkout page so that it makes the purchasing process easier. Then you may set up relevant offer at the checkout to increase your order value. Next, you may set up upsell offers right after the buyer has completed the checkout. And finally, a thank you page to confirm the order and instruct the customer how they will access the digital product. Well, today I'm going to create this funnel in WordPress using WP Funnels. It is the easiest sales funnel builder in WordPress right now. It has all the features so that you can create your sales funnel easily for your WooCommerce product. Let's have a look at an example. Suppose I have an online site where I sell ebooks and I'll be selling the ebook design thinking. So what will I do is create a funnel for this design thinking ebook. So I'm gonna have a landing page highlighting the ebook and a customized checkout page. At the checkout, I'll make a relevant offer of another additional ebook which is beyond design. And after the buyer has completed the checkout, I'll offer him an upsell for a bundle of four ebooks related to design. So this will be a funnel for ebooks which are related to design. Now let's create the funnel. So as you can see, I'm on the WordPress dashboard right now and I have WP Funnels Pro. Now to create your first funnel, click on this option. Here you'll see different templates, but you'll choose the one that goes with your niche or the product you're selling. So as I have already told you that I'm gonna sell ebook, so I'll create the funnel for ebook. So I'll choose this funnel. So if you click on the step, you'll see an overview of all the steps in the funnel. That means in this funnel, you get a landing page, a checkout page, a thank you page, an upsell and a downsell. Now let's import the funnel. And it will take you to the canvas where you can plan your funnel visually. So the first step here is the landing where you're gonna promote your main product. And in this case, it is an ebook. So now, let me show you how the landing page looks like. For that, select the landing step and click on the preview option. So this is the landing page. At first, you see here a catchy title, some dummy tags, a CTA. If someone clicks on it, he or she will be redirected to the checkout page. And this is the image of the ebook. If you have a look at the below, you will see what are the topics covered in this book. And this is a section where you can offer your customers to read a free chapter and collect their leads. But if you don't want to collect leads here, you can definitely skip this section and delete it. Then you can also show the details of the author, what readers are saying, and the final CTA. Now what you have to do is design this landing page for your product. Let me show you how you can edit this landing page. 
For that, let me go back to the canvas, select the landing step again and click on the edit option. And this will open up in your preferred page builder. As you see, this has opened up in Elementor because I prefer using Elementor. But if you want, you can use TV, Oxygen Builder or Gutenberg. So here you can edit every single section. If you want, you can change the heading, you can edit this dummy text, you can change the image, basically every single thing. Now one thing to remember, this get this book, I mean this CTA is our widget. This is the next step button and which you can use in your landing pages, alright? Now once you are done editing the landing page, you'll click on update and save the changes. Now let's go to the next step which is the checkout. In WB Funnels, you have to assign your main product to the checkout. That means the product you have created the landing page for, you need to add the product in the checkout. So if you have a look at this um, step, you see there is no product added. So first, I'm going to add my ebook here. For that, click on the checkout step and go to the configuration option. It will open this drawer. Here, you just need to search your product and add the product to the checkout. So, I'm searching for my ebook and add this product. So if you see here you can add the discount tab as well. This will be a dedicated discount for your product. So once you are done with that, save the changes. Now let me show you the checkout page. So this is the checkout page. This is a pretty simple checkout page. There is a heading, an image of the book. And the checkout thing, you don't need to worry about this section because it is a test site. Alright, now let's see how you can edit this checkout page. So here you will design the checkout for your product. You will change the heading if you want, you will change the image. But if you don't want any image, you can simply delete this. And this is the checkout form. Now as it is a digital product, I don't really need the physical address. So what I'm gonna do is delete this piece from the checkout. Let me show you how you can do that. I'm selecting the checkout step and going to the configuration option. Now to add or delete the fields, you'll click on the edit fields option. So here you'll see all the fields that is assigned in the checkout form. I'm just gonna remove the fields that I don't really require, all right? So I'm keeping the first name and last name and I'm removing the other fields. I'm keeping the phone and email here. So here if you want, you can edit the heading options as well, alright? Now once you are done, click on the save option. Now let me preview the checkout step again and see if the fields were removed. So you can see here is only the first name, last name, phone and email address. The other physical address information which I have removed are not there. Now what is the next step in the funnel? When I have described you the journey of the funnel, I have told you that at the checkout, I will provide buyer a relevant offer of a design ebook which is beyond design, so which will work as an order bump. So when the buyer is on the checkout, he will see this relevant offer. So now let me add this order bump offer. For that, going to the checkout configuration option and selecting the order bump so you see there is no order bump offer added here so i'm just gonna click on the add order bump option so this will give me the instructions i need for the order bump so here you can select the style how you want uh, your order bump offer to appear you can select the order bump position background color basically everything here I'm gonna add the ebook which I want to offer as an order bump. So let me search for the product. 
and add it so if you want you can change the highlight text check out label product descriptions if you want you can add a dedicated discount too so once we are done editing that click on to save changes so you see the order form offer is now added to the checkout now the next step is the upsell step this is a special offer which you will give after the buyer has completed the checkout that means if you make a good offer you can earn more money without any extra acquisition cost so let me give you a preview of the upsell page so this is the upsell page now you have to design it for your upsell product the editing process is basically same for all the pages just like how you edit the page with elementor so you're just go gonna go to the edit option and change the copy and images for the upsell product you want to offer all right and now one important thing is same as checkout you need to assign your upsell product on the upsell step as well so let me assign my upsell product for that i'm going to the configuration option and here i will add my upsell product so as an upsell, I'm offering an ebook bundle of four books that are related to design. So I'm just gonna search for the bundle product and add the product to the upsell step. So here you can change the discount type as well. So right now I'm happy with how it is. Let me save the changes. So here the next step is the downsell. But right now I don't really need a downsell step. I just want to offer an upsell and then let the buyer proceed to the thank you page so i'm gonna remove the downsell step option from this funnel so i don't need the condition anymore so i'm just gonna delete that too and now let me connect the upsell to the thank you page now let me give you a preview of the thank you page here you can change the uh, heading however you want you can give him an update how the buyer can access the ebook and edit the order details which you want to show in the thank you page so once you are done click on the update option so that's it your funnel is now ready let me show you it in action for that click on the funnel preview step so this is the funnel the buyer will come to the landing page first and if he clicks on the CTA to get the book, he will be redirected to the checkout page and you see in the checkout page the order bomb offer I have added for my ebook beyond design is added here. So after the buyer has placed the order, it will show him the upsell page. Here he gets an option to add it to the order or if he wants he can reject the offer as well. Now let me add it to the order. Now finally, this is a thank you page that will be shown to the buyer. Alright, so that's how easily you can create digital product sales funnel using WP Funnel. Now all you have to do is bring traffic to this funnel and start getting more sales. So what are you waiting for? Start using this template and promote your digital products easily. I have given link to WP Funnels in the description box below. Don't forget to check that out. That's it for today. See you in the next video.